what's going on guys let's see if we are on we are currently rolling uh welcome back guys welcome back to the uh, cool amazing epic you pop pop poop poop redo welcome back to the cool amazing epic youtube channel uh this is going to be i think episode number seven I think number seven of the uh, MTG trading card Magic the Gathering big box unboxing series. This is episode number seven. Uh, good news is we finally got the uh, camera back in the mail or in the mail. But nonetheless, I have to diddle with it or something like that because the, uh, the camera works as in the view the uh, view works pretty well, but the sound is horrific. Uh, you know, from five to ten feet, I mean, I can barely hear myself. And uh, for some people, it's probably a blessing. But for me, uh, it, it's just not working out for what I'm trying to do. But nonetheless, you know, for three to four dollar price point, I mean, I guess you the old saying goes, you uh, you get what you pay for. But nonetheless, Buddy, can I have a little bit more, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Nonetheless, we can show you the box. Uh, this is what the box came in. Pretty generic stuff. I don't know if it's uh, showing up on camera all too well. It says HD camera with a little, uh, you know, obvious webcam or camera or whatever the heck USB camera you want to uh, call it in the box. Obviously, it's out of the box. Now, say hello, buddy. Yes, hello. Uh, the other side, it says <clears throat> Dragon Touch HD camera. Now, oh, here we go critiquing stuff again. Now, I don't know if this is a legit, a knockoff some, from some other uh, part of the, uh, the world, but the Dragon Touch, it looks like a sticker. I mean, it legitimately looks like a sticker. I don't know if they just got like a uh, HD camera a uh, box, you know, and, and just try to like jazz it up a little bit with the dragon touch, but nonetheless, it might have happened like that. Inside of the box is very generic, not all too much. There was actually, uh, you know, uh, info, aka the uh, instruction manual, how to use it, a user's manual, etc., etc., for all the uh, critiques out there. Uh, and slowly but surely, nonetheless, this is actually the bones, the, uh, you know, hardware of what the heck it was inside. Very generic, uh, you know, obviously this is like the little clip on, uh, as you can tell to clip it on to your little laptop, to your computer, so on and so forth. Uh, you know, nonetheless, which way is it going to go? This way, I think is going to go to where we need it. Um, this right here is obviously some sort of like, uh, you know, camera, webcam, uh, not the best thing. I, I think it's probably not picking up, but there's like a little mic thing there, which obviously does not pick up at all, all too well for what we need. Uh, but the, some of our geniuses in the, uh, in the YouTube, uh, land world, et cetera, et cetera, uh, may have notified me that they might think that you might be able to use the uh, camera and the computer together, working together all at once. I don't know if that's very feasible, nor do I probably want to deal with it. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, for the uh, the view versus this type of view from our uh, everyday camera, it's a lot better. Uh, probably five to ten times better, but on the other side of things, <clears throat> the... Um, the sound quality is just not working. The sound quality is absolutely horrific and it just doesn't work <clears throat> the way it's supposed to. So with that being said, I'll probably have to tinker with it, you know, probably in the very near future or probably get another one. But for now, the safe uh, spot is probably using our laptop uh, computer with webcam, uh, so on. <clears throat> and so forth. So that's what we are probably going to do for the next couple of, uh, you know, episodes, so on and so forth. But uh, if you're brand new here, uh, kudos to you. You have found uh, the cool, amazing, epic YouTube channel. My gosh, it's been a couple of days since we did an episode. 
And lo and behold, it's like I almost need cue cards uh, to, uh, you know, figure out what the heck uh, I'm talking about. But that's a good thing because we're keeping it uh, new, which is a good thing. Anyways, uh, for the last six episodes on this type of series, uh, six or seven counting this one, so on and so forth. Uh, we've been opening up brand new uh, packs for, for me and for you also uh, of Magic the Gathering cards. Lo and behold, I haven't found anything all too uh, amazing. Uh, you know, no holographics, no first editions, no second editions, no special editions. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, like I, I tried telling you guys earlier, I'm a complete noob. I really don't know what the heck to look for. Uh, you know, this is more or less just to have a good time and, and create some sort of, uh, you know, pretty cool stuff to, uh, to, you know, shoot out on YouTube and see what the heck happens. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, with that being said and so on and so forth, uh, yeah, this is the uh, user manual for our fake, probable fake dragon touch, uh, you know, webcam. Kudos. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this right here is going to be the box. We're going to be cracking into this one, the brand new box of uh, MTG trading cards. Uh, this is going to be uh, the second one of a uh, two, I guess, box deal. There were two of these. We already went through one of them. One contained four packs in each, so I'm guessing this one is going to have another four packs. A uh, very generic box, but nice uh, boxing, obviously. Nothing all out of the wall except, you know, the uh, the preliminary, uh, you know, COVID skid mark from hell. Uh, but nonetheless, that is probably a pretty, pretty standard detail uh, these days. Nonetheless, without further ado, let's crack this thing open. Let's dive into it or let's dig into it a little bit deeper and see what the heck we've got. Hope you guys are doing well out in uh, YouTube land and also the world. I don't know what the heck is all going on, but seemingly we are going through some stuff as we speak. Hopefully everyone has taken the, uh, the precautions to uh, keep your family safe, uh, sound, so on and so forth. Because uh, obviously there might be something going on. First crack of the box, guys, this right here is the inside of it. Very generic, but my gosh, if it if it does it the right way, it looks amazing. My gosh, look at that. Four fat packs of Magic the Gathering cards. Wow, I mean, my gosh, it looks amazing. That looks, God bless it, <clears throat> amazing. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, golly, off the top, I see, I think, a couple of, uh, a couple of doubles, but uh, this too hopefully shall pass. So let's try with this one with one of our uh, very uh, nasal-looking, uh, you know, friends, and we'll see where that goes. Let's see what the heck happens with that. All right. Now, this is going to be probably a 50, 60, maybe even longer uh, minute show because the uh, given rate for one of these packs is usually about 50 to 60 minutes. Nonetheless, hopefully we hit something amazing. Off the back, guys, we have back-to-back -back giant spiders. One giant spider... And another back-to-back -back giant spider. Double trouble. My gosh, that is horrific. Oof. Let me push this thing back real quick so we can have more room to uh, show the cards. Coming up next, we have a pouncing cheetah. A pouncing cheetah. My gosh. Now, once again, I don't know anything about these cars. I don't know if they're uh, real. I don't know if they're uh, common, uncommon, rare, not rare, so on and so forth. Uh, please let us know in the comments below if you know anything about these cars, what they do, how much they're worth, if they're rare, so on and so forth. Hit us up in the comments below. Once again, is the giant spider. Once again, is the giant spider. 
I think we're batting about 75%, three out of four uh, giant spiders in the first four cars. Not a good look, Mr. G. Spidery Grasp, Spidery Grasp, uh, Magic the Gathering card, Spidering Grasp. Not too impressed, guys. Giant Spider once again. Giant Spider uh, once again. Hopefully, these cars are worth like $50,000 each because, my gosh, I think I have about four of them. Bitter Blade Warrior coming up. Bitter Blade uh, Warrior. My gosh, Surfing USA guy. Uh-huh. Giant Spider. My gosh, that is most certainly terrible. I mean, how many giant spiders have we gotten in the first, you know, pack of, uh, of like 10 cards, guys? This is terrible. Absolutely horrific. My gosh. And this guy has like seemingly 100% positive feedback on eBay. We're just going to call him Mr. G, uh, you know, but... Golly, Mr. G, you are killing me. Gift of paradise. Gift of paradise, guys. Wow. It doesn't even look that amazing. <laughs> Hooded brawler. Hooded brawler. All right, buddy. You are a hooded brawler for show. All right. Next up, we have a sensor splicer. A sensor splicer. My gosh. It looks like something off of... Uh, some sort of, uh, what was it, a Star Wars movie or something? Gosh, what is he doing to that poor child? Sensor Splicer. Guys, I'm really not that big of a nerd. I mean, really, you know. I probably have uh, nerd tendencies, but nonetheless, I don't think I'm a full-blown nerd. But thank you for the, uh, the comments. Destroy the evidence. Destroy the evidence. Oh, my. Gosh, this is horrific because you probably know that there's lots of doubles. Cursed Minotaur, at least four or five from our previous packs. Cursed Minotaur. All right, get him, buddy. Wow. Absolutely horrific. Another double. Final reward. Final reward. My gosh, if you've been watching our other episodes, you will know what the heck I am talking about. Final reward up in here. At least four or five. Festering mummy. Festering mummy all day buffet. The Lord knows we have done this mug before. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My gosh, absolutely horrific. Launch party. Launch party. This guy or girl or whatever the heck that is looks horrific. Children, once again, under 10, please... Stop watching these unboxing uh, series. It's a very, uh, quote-unquote, adult-oriented, uh, adult genre, you know, but nonetheless, in the future, we'll be doing some stuff for the kiddos, like rookie autos, baseball, basketball, you know, maybe some sort of Yu-Gi-Oh! A little, you know, less, you know, crazy like Magic the Gathering, which is... A little, a little too much for some some kiddos uh, growing up, et cetera, et cetera. No nightmares for you, little child. No nightmares. Sensor splicer, sensor splicer. Once again, we have the Star Wars uh, mechanic uh, surgeon guy. Uh huh. Coming up next, we have a back to back cursed Minotaur. My gosh, look at this guy. Back to flipping back. Absolutely horrific. That is at least three in this first little set of uh, cards. Absolutely horrific. My gosh, terrible. Nonetheless, once again, shout outs to uh, Mr. G, though. I think it's still a pretty good deal, but there is a humongous load of doubles, uh, triple, so on and so forth. We got a thousand MTG cards for less than twenty dollars. I mean, how can you beat that? Festering Mummy, once again, Festering Mummy. I think that's five to six cards right there. My gosh, in this pack alone. Absolutely trash. Stab Wound, Stab Wound. Oh, gosh, that is horrific. Absolutely terrible. Stab Wound, he probably got that before, too. Final Reward coming up. 
final reward. My gosh, the mummy going to going to get beat up by its own people. That is horrific. Absolutely terrible. Cursed Minotaur again. Boom, pow. Terrible. Yep. Cradle of the Accursed. Oh, my gosh. Horrific. Look at that. Once again, pff, done. Absolutely done. Compulsory rest. Compulsory rest. Compulsory rest. Whatever. Done again. Bang, bang, boom. Thank you, ma'am. Coming through in the clutch. Exultant Cultist. My gosh. Absolutely horrific. Exultant Cultist. That might be a new one, guys. Whatever the heck that is. It's an Exultant Cultist. My gosh. Uh-huh. Untamed hunger. Oof, we have an untamed hunger. My gosh, please go away. Untamed hunger, you little freak. Acrobatic maneuver. Acrobatic maneuver. My gosh, that is amazing. Look at those acrobatic maneuvers. Lurching rod beast. Yes, our lurching rod beast again. Coming back for like the fourth or fifth time at least. My gosh. Hello, Mr. Lurching Rat Beast. How are things? Yes, amazing. Horrific. Tattered Mummy. We have a tattered mummy. Look at this guy. About to get messed up in the middle of... Oof. Wherever the heck that is. <laughs> Dukara Scavenger. Dukara Scavenger. What in the flying what the heck is that? If you got any info or details, details on the uh, cards in this episode, please let us know in the comments below. Also, if you have a card that you uh, favor or the, your favorite card, so on and so forth, let us know in the comments below. Or if you see a card that's your favorite in this episode or in this mini series, let us know in the comments uh, below. Blighted bat coming through. Blighted bat. Good job, buddy. Whatever the heck that means. Daring demolition. Daring demolition. And my pants are vibrating. So hold that thought, children. Yes, yes. Hold that thought. What in the heck is going on with these vibrations? What the heck do you want? Leave me alone. I'm trying to do a show here. Nonetheless, we have a malfunction. A malfunction. Here we go. Gosh, that looks ridiculously horrific. Malfunction, guys. Uh-huh. Borrowed hostility. We have a borrowed hostility. Uh-huh. How horrific is that? Lurching rod beast again. Lurching Rod Beast, my gosh, that is horrific. That is at least the second one in this pack right here. Failed inspection. We have about five or six of these jokers right here. My gosh, look at this failed inspection. Can you imagine that? Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Moaning Wall. Once again, children under 10, please stop watching these uh, episodes. Absolutely nightmarish. Moaning Wall. Moaning wall, guys. Uh-huh. Lurching rod beast again. Lurching rod beast again. Absolutely terrible. My gosh, that is horrific. Grasping scoundrel. Oh, there we go. What are you, a grasping scoundrel? My gosh, that is terrible. Look at this guy. This guy is a complete flipping uh, scoundrel. Torch gauntlet. Torch gauntlet. I don't know what the heck that is. It looks like some sort of, uh, you know, amputated arm or hand or something along those lines. Absolutely horrific. Children, please stop watching these shows. Uh, lurching rod beast again. How many lurching rod beasts can we get, Mr. G? I mean, my gosh, is this your, like, favorite, you know, uh, card or something? Look what the heck is going on, buddy. A malfunction malfunction there's a, it's a malfunction maybe you have too many of these cards or something that's probably more like it new horizons guys new horizons look at this amazing little uh you know snippet in time new horizons oh how beautiful uh-huh high tide hermit oh here we go we got the crab people coming through lord help us help us lord Ooh, high tide hermit. Here we go. Yes, indeed. Kujar seed sculptor. 
Yes, that's at least a three or four or five. My gosh, that is absolutely horrific. Kujar Seed Sculptor. Get it, get it, girl. All right. Tesseled, tassel dromedary. Yes, this is the uh, noble camel. Yes, children, the noble uh, camel once again. Tassel dromedary. Amazing. Rampaging hippo. My dear Lord, that is horrific. Can you imagine that? Hippos, you know, look so cute. But they will eat you, literally and metaphorically. Absolutely terrible critters at times. I mean, if you, especially if you get them pissed off. I have heard some countless horrific tales of uh, rampaging hippos. Wind Drake. Here we go again. The Wind Drake, everybody. Oh, Wind Drake. Here we go. Out of you. A uh, feral prowler. This cat looks uh, absolutely uh, messed up. Let me just put it that way. Feral prowler. Mm -hmm. My gosh, little kitty, you most certainly look like you're in a bad, bad uh, mood. Servo. Once again, we have a servo with the amazing uh, back card. Whatever the heck that is. Not every day magic the gathering. Uh, that was the back of the card, guys. Let me just chill out. Okay. Now, nonetheless, this is the supposed card card, the servo. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. We have a frilled sand walla. My gosh, a frilled sand walla. Look at this lizard from, uh, you know, some sort of random rock. Look at you, buddy. All right. Get out of here, you little freak. Uh, Rona Stalwart, Rona Stalwart, whatever the heck that is, she looks uh, absolutely, uh, you know, dot, dot, dot. All right. Coming up on the 22 minute mark and counting. Woo, greater sandworm. We have a greater sandworm. They have lots and lots of uh, worms up in the uh, MTG series, guys. Absolutely horrific. Greater sandworm. And coming up next, we have a prey upon. We have a prey upon. My gosh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Aether uh, theorist. Aether or ether, aether theorist. All right. Yeah, that's a great theory, buddy. Absolutely. Uh, pouncing cheetah. Pouncing cheetah. Our little uh, cheetah friend. Okay. All right. Great. Blood Briar. We have a Blood Briar. Mm -hmm. My gosh, look at that big uh, jabron. Blood Briar. My gosh. We have an Energy Reserve. Place your energy counters in this area. Boom, boom, pow. Look at that. Back of the card or whatever the heck. Oh, gosh, that is most certainly not an everyday MTG Magic the Gathering card. Like, I'm, like I'm you know, such an expert. <laughs> like, I'm such an expert now, guys. Last but not least in this little card of horrors, my gosh, uh, Tranquil Expanse. We have a Tranquil Expanse. And to sum it all up, let's go with one of those little... Uh, sayings or whatever the heck it is beyond the chaos of Jurapur lies a vibrant world where aether flows through nature how amazing that is the tranquil expands uh-huh and that guys is the first clip of uh pack number five we have this many to go guys 24 minutes and counting well, guys, you know darn well it's either coffee time or, uh, you know, the, the, the juice drink of love and devotion. I think we might have to go with the gridlock today. Cheers, guys. Mm. I don't know which one I like uh, better, to be quite honest. The other one tastes like pineapple. This one tastes like more of a, if anybody out there has had a Red Bull, anybody have a Red Bull, you know, the generic, you know, type taste of an energy drink. This, this is more like it. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, kudos to you guys. Anyways, let's chit chat for a little bit. Uh, guys, I don't know what the heck is going on with the world today. My gosh, I see sporadic uh, news feeds of, uh, you know, horrific uh, happenings. I don't know if anybody else is getting this this type of, uh, you know, lookout and stuff like that. But uh, my gosh, it is horrific. It's like, my goodness, what the heck are we watching? What the heck are we doing? Anyways, I hope you guys are uh, taking care of yourselves and so on and so forth. Because, I mean, it's it's looking pretty gnarly. And I don't know what the heck is up with the uh, the heat advisory. This summer, it's been like pretty hot guys i don't know if you guys have been getting the heat over there but it's just like wow that is horrific it's like i'm in uh you know some sort of sahara or something like a desert sahara desert all right guys let's, let's bust through this second half my gosh we're in 26 minutes and counting i feel like this lamp is like you know burning a hole in my flesh anyways Coming up next, we have a Terror of the Fairgrounds. By gosh, yes it is. Oh, hello, sir. Can I play your game? No, it's not one of those uh, people. It's the Terror of the Fairgrounds MTG card. Nice schnauzer, guy. Adios. Armacraft Judge. Armacraft Judge. What are you doing to that poor rhino beast? I thought you were like, you know, uh, you know. <laughs> Doing something to that poor rhino. I thought he was humping it, to be honest. I'm sorry. I was just like, what, what are you doing, buddy? Pouncing Cheetah, number uh, three in the second half of this uh, horror show. My gosh. Pouncing Cheetah, children. Pouncing Cheetah. Children, once, once under 10, please stop watching. Over 10, well, I don't, I don't know about that either. Because, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of crucial for those kids, too. Commencement of festivities. Commencement of festivities. Bitter bow sharpshooters. Bitter bow sharpshooters. Wow, how wonderful. Uh, we need a sniper as soon as possible. Yes, yes, I knew that was coming. La, 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 la. Rampaging hippo. Again. Rampaging hippo. My God. Gosh, can you imagine being stuck in the middle of uh, of some sort of lake, water reservoir with these mugs snipping at your toes? Absolutely horrific. Rampaging hippo. Terrible, guys. Spireside infiltrator. Oh, gosh. How crazy is that? Can you imagine your job as that, just sitting there with a bunch of, uh, you know, Things. Oof, God, that's horrific. Kudos to you, buddy. A thriving rhino, guys. A thriving rhino. What is he? A rhino that's thriving. How amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, as unpredictable as ether and just as hard to contain. That's our little thriving rhino uh, saying on the bottom of the card. Whatever the heck that means. Inventors goggles. Inventors goggles. Oh my gosh. How horrific. We have a sky skip for probably the sixth or seventh time. My gosh, this is getting most certainly played out. Sky skip, guys. Wow. We have a renegade freighter again, probably for the fourth or fifth time. Absolutely played out. Renegade freighter. Uh, good news, though. We just got a buttload of stuff coming in the mail. I mean, we got like five or six packages, and I think most of them are probably going to be probably rookie autos and uh, things of that nature, which is... Much better than what the heck is, is really happening uh, with, with these cards, obviously. Coming up, we have a servo. A servo, once again. My gosh, I think this is the third or fourth one we have. I mean, this is ridiculous. Shout outs to January 20th, 2017. Absolutely ridiculous. Pima Outrider. Pima Outrider. Outrider Pima. Whatever the heck that is. Mm. Terrible. Absolutely flipping terrible. 
Nimble Innovator coming up. Once again, we have a Nimble Innovator for the third time here or there, give or take. My gosh. Energy Reserve, guys. Energy Reserve. It, it almost gives like some sort of Pokemon uh, type feel to this, whatever the heck that is. Energy Reserve. A uh, little dude with the uh, with the swords and stuff. Uh huh. Uh, propeller Pioneer. Propeller Pioneer. No, absolute trash. Uh, Terror of the Fairgrounds. Oh my gosh, sir! Can I please play your uh, baseball whack a mole game? Nobody. It is not the guy. It's the other guy. Get real. Once again, we have a servo. Oh, Lordy. How many servos can we possibly get? Hopefully, this thing is like so flipping rare. My gosh. Hopefully, it is so uh, flipping rare. I doubt it, though. But you know what? Kudos to servo. Hijack. 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 Uh huh. The card. Not, 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 not the saying like hi. Uh, Jack, hijack, you know, like you're getting hijacked, you get eat what you're doing, man. You're hijacking me. Lawless, a broker. What's that little freak in the, in the darkness again? Hey, buddy. Oh, boy. That is ridiculous. I don't even know where the heck he went. Nasty little scamp. Lawless broker, everybody. My gosh, what a weirdo. Aether, Aether Theorist. Uh-huh. Somebody please let us know what the heck this is. This Aether, Aether, whatever the heck it is. Please let us know in the comments below because I don't know what the heck that is. Percata Pillabug. Oh, this is Percata's Pillabug, everybody. My gosh, how horrific. Somebody get the dang, uh, you know, uh, whatever the heck they use to kill the bugs with. <laughs> <laughs> well, fast wingsmith. Well, fast wingsmith. Oh, that is horrific. What are you doing, buddy? You all over the place and stuff. All right, get him, buddy. Uh, foundry creature. Foundry creature. Oof, that is horrific. Look at that little bat waiting to uh, explode. <laughs> My gosh, would that be a blessing? Workshop assistant. My gosh, what a diligent dung beetle you are. Workshop assistant. Look at you, buddy. My gosh, how amazing is that? Wow. Thriving Ibex. Oh, wow. Look at this big goat on the ma magnificent mountain. Look at you, buddy. My gosh, somebody doesn't beat the bejeebus out of you seemingly all too much if you get big ass, big old, uh, <clears throat> uh I'm going to try and stop. Uh, you know, using curse words all too much, <laughs> guys. I do a pause. Big old, we'll say big old horns. Look at these big old horns. Uh huh. Select for inspection. Look at this big old thing of tin. My gosh, I really wonder how much uh we could get off of the scrap of this guy and his friends. Hmm. Somebody, please let us know in the comments below. Good looking out, buddy. Good looking out. Sky Squirrel Harrier or Sky Swirl Harrier. Fly, fly away, you pesky little pigeon. Or Harrier. Harrier, guys. Come on. A servo once again. My gosh, I hope these servos are worth like a hundred dollars, guys. Plus, 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 plus. My gosh, I think we have like five or six of these bad boys. Can you imagine? Oh, that is horrific. And look at this freak on the thing. My gosh, do that again, buddy. With that, uh, you know, thing with the thing and the what? Oh, you're horrific. Absolutely horrific. Pee my outrider. My gosh, somebody get the spray. Pee my outrider. What in the heck are you doing? What are you riding on, buddy? What the heck are you on? That doesn't look like an everyday horse. My gosh, you are just an absolute weirdo for that one. Oh, gosh, that poor, poor critter. Inspired charge. Look at this inspired charge. Oh, gosh, that's amazing. Look at those people and their inspiration. Their inspired charge. Okay. That's enough of 
that charge. Spontaneous artist. Go ahead, little Nasto. I want you to jump over that little uh, cliff next. Spontaneous artist. Oh, wonderful. Oh, spontaneous artist. How, how wonderful is that? We have a warrior coming up. Go ahead, warrior. Big, big, uh, big daddy or big lady, whatever the heck it is. You just don't know what the heck it is these days. Oh, Lord, warrior. Uh -huh. With the backside, most certainly a different MTG card. Your challenge always, blah, 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 blah. Mucho gracias, guys. Once again, we have a thopter. A thopter, guys. What the heck is this? A thopter. Oh, not your everyday MTG card, I am guessing. Look at the backside of this. Oh, God, that is amazing. Terrible. Servo coming up. I think we're batting like a 66% somewhere. My gosh, absolutely horrific. Warrior, bam, pang, thank you, uh, mang. Back to back, double trouble, triple flipples. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, second word, back to back. And it just doesn't stop there. There's a triple. There's a trips, guys. Trips. We have trips. Three warriors back to back. Uh, single variety. Thopter again. Horrific. Absolutely horrific. Come on, Mr. G. You're really killing me now, buddy. I mean, what the heck is going on, man? Servo? Oh. These cars aren't even like legitimate MTG cars, buddy. What the heck are you doing? Oh, this is terrible. My gosh. At least now we know. Even Wind Guide. Even Wind Guide. I mean, this is this is what the heck happens when when somebody basically opens up, you know, one of the big times, supposedly on eBay with the MTG cars, best bargain, mind you, on eBay, uh, with a supposed 100% positive feedback. That is scary. Now, I don't know if you guys think this is, you know, legitimate or even okay, but I mean, my gosh, buddy, this is ridiculous. Servo. <laughs> Servo again. I think that's like number five or six. Construct. What? A construct? This isn't even a legitimate card, it seems. Look at the back side of this thing. Is that a legitimate card, guys? I mean, it looks like some sort of uh, promotional thing, or maybe even some sort of fake cards that they just give out for, for you know doofuses or something a warrior again we have like four or five of these mugs my gosh horrific top crop skirmisher oh come on don't give me that jazz you know darren will this is a horrific thing zombie zombie Thopter again. My gosh, do you hear the sadness in my voice, guys? Do you hear the sadness in my voice? Absolute trash. Anointer Priest. Anointer Priest. My gosh, these aren't even legit cards, guys. What the heck are you doing, Mr. G? I know darn well what you need to do. You need to ask for forgiveness. My gosh. Greater Sandworm. Greater Sandworm. Once again, at least number two. We have a Construct. Boom. Again. Again, Construct. Zombie. Come on, give it up, uh, you, you little freak. Zombie, give it up now. Warrior again. Back-to-back -back doubles. We got doubles again. A war. Boom. Pow. Boom, boom, pow. Look at that. Horrific. Crappy stuff, man. Crappy, crappy stuff, stuff. Oh, absolute trash. Servo. Boom. My gosh, that is terrible. And we're about to be uh, in the 39 minute and 30 second mark in about a few seconds and counting. Zombie. Boom, pow. Again, I have lost... Uh, my gosh, I have lost the count because it's that flipping many, uh, trash pieces right up in there. Anointer Priest, my gosh, Anointer Priest, absolute trash. Desert Saradon, Desert Saradon, absolute trash. 
Warrior, boom, again, trash, poof, pow. Unwavering initiate, boom, pow. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> Even initiate, yes, once again, absolute trash. Thank you. Final reward. Look at that, my gosh, for like the fifth or sixth time, absolute trash. Desert Ceradon doubles, wham, bam, boom. What the heck is that? I mean, oh my gosh, that looks horrific. Anointer Priest, at least the third or fourth one of these. Come on, buddy, stop acting retarded. Give up the money, you little freak. Back-to-back -back zombies. Look at this nasty. Oof. Boom, pow. Children under 10. Please refrain from watching these terrible, terrible Magic the Gathering shows. Ew. Final reward, guys. Once again. Boom, boom, pow. Let's, let's uh, ask the audience which one we have next. Oh, exactly. You probably don't know. Warrior, look at this idiot. Warrior, my gosh. Next, Desert Ceradon, back to back, double trouble, bam, pow. One, oof, Desert Ceradon, boom, two, Desert Ceradons. Oof, F, oof, oof, oof. Warrior, boom, double trouble, bam, Bam. Thank you for all the doubles. So it doesn't take me more than 50 minutes to finish this uh, nasty show. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> final reward. Look at that. Yes, my final reward is going to be uh, not wasting more time on this crappy dick. Desert Ceradon. My gosh, look at that. Please, buddy, chill out. It's going to be okay. Go with the bread guy, you know. Warrior, back-to-back, -back, double troubles. Oh, my gosh. Absolute trash, Mr. G. What the heck are you doing, buddy? This is terrible. Top crop skirmisher, at least doubles. Oh. And last but not least, we have this moron launch party. Pow. Go ahead, then, dummy. Exactly. Adios, you little freak. Well, we're done with that, and I thank goodness. Mm, mm, mm. buddy that was horrific that was more than horrific that was horrible my gosh absolute trash uh you know we probably got like 10 warriors we probably got about two to three top crop skirmishers what was the other one zombies we had like seven or eight of those i mean that was horrific absolutely horrific I don't know if that's normal in, in other, uh, you know, boxes of the Ebays and all that stuff. But my gosh, uh, Mr. G, you have, you know, most certainly, uh, you know, not been up to par on this a uh, lot of cards. But nonetheless, my gosh, oof, terrible, guys, terrible. I hope you guys had a good time watching that fiasco because it was most certainly painful uh, to watch all these doubles and triples, uh, go into, uh, you know, complete, uh, you know, trash piles, absolute trash piles. I mean, what the heck am I supposed to do with all these, uh, stupid cars, man? My gosh, they're probably not even worth anything. Absolutely horrific. Anyways, at least it was fun. At least we got a show for you guys, but, uh, nonetheless, Till next time, please uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe, unsubscribe, so on and so forth. Please let us know about these, uh, you know, different Magic the Gathering uh, variations. Some of them don't look like the everyday Magic the Gathering uh, cars. Let us know if they're worth anything. We still have three fat packs of this, and it's probably going to take us at least three more episodes and hopefully, my gosh, he doesn't send us that many doubles. But I'm just, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking that he might. That he actually might send us more doubles. Uh, but nonetheless, this too shall pass. Uh, still to this day, we are still, you know, working on uh, getting new uh, content and products for you guys. 
Uh, I was thinking to maybe start uh, reviewing some sort of, you know, gits and gadgets. I don't know if you guys would like that or not. If you have any suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, everything in, in modesty. Let's, let's not get too crazy, especially in the beginning. But uh, I'm all ears. You know, I'd love to listen. I'd love to learn to, uh, you know, certain things, so on and so forth of that nature. But uh, until next time, let us know in the comments below. Uh, please like and share and so on and so forth. We need more subscribers. I think we have less than 10 right now, which is, you know, pretty cool for me. But uh, we, we need more, most certainly. Uh, please take care of yourselves, guys. We are still in this uh, problematic rut. Shoutouts to my thriving Ibex, uh, big goat dude on the mountain. Shoutouts to you, buddy. Uh, but until next time, uh, love, peace, and please stop spreading disease. Adios, guys.